Mark it on the calendar. The biggest day in the next year and perhaps the event of the decade will happen on April 8th, 2024. Hello, I'm WTL 11 Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers. We are talking about the total solar eclipse that will cast the shadow of the moon on a narrow path across the Earth with the direct path of totality tracking directly over northern Ohio. It is our goal in the coming months, weeks and days to inform, educate and prepare you for the total solar eclipse that will happen on the afternoon of April 8th, 2024. So many have asked, what is a total solar eclipse? Let's take a look. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in between the sun and the earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. The umbra is where the shadow is complete. A total eclipse of the sun. Now, the width of a shadow at this point is very narrow across the face of the earth. The umbra, the shadow, is only about 100 to 110 miles wide on a very narrow corridor of the earth. And again, it is caused by the moon tracking directly in between the sun and the earth. A very rare instance where a total solar eclipse occurs. Now, to get the maximum impact of what a total solar eclipse could look like, you must be within fully the shadow of the umbra. That total solar eclipse will then be visible. Another term that you will need to know is the penumbra. That is where a partial eclipse will occur. We have very clear information on where both of these will be occurring on the afternoon of April 8th, 2024. You must once again, though, be in the umbra, that full shadow, which we call the path of totality. The path of totality is where the sun is 100% eclipsed by the moon. The path of totality will track across the Pacific Ocean into Mexico and eventually directly into North America, including a track across Northwest Ohio for a few very short minutes. The path of totality is the time where you have the chance to view that total solar eclipse. So a few of the terms that you need to know to get you prepared for what a total solar eclipse is, is you need to know what the umbra is. That is the dark center portion of a shadow. The moon's umbra causes the total solar eclipse. It is the path of totality, a 100% total solar eclipse occurs within that very narrow corridor known as the umbra. The penumbra is the portion of the moon shadow in which only part of the sun is covered. An observer that is standing within the penumbra sees only a partial solar eclipse. Perhaps your memory recalls on August 21st, 2017, we here in northern Ohio were under a partial solar eclipse. We were within the penumbra. It is going to be a completely different scenario on April 8th, 2024, where the umbra, that full shadow, moves directly over northern Ohio. That will put us within the path of totality, the track of the moon's shadow, the umbra across the Earth's surface. Now, this path is very narrow, typically just over 100 or so miles wide, and it will visit northern Ohio on April 8th. 2024. We're very much looking forward to this. So what will it look like here in Toledo? The total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. That eclipse will begin at 1 56 51 in the afternoon. We call that the first contact when that partial eclipse will begin. Over the coming uh, minutes, we will enter into that partial eclipse and that max eclipse will occur. 313, 313, 313 in the afternoon, where 100% of the sun will be eclipsed. That is our second and our third contact. Now at this moment, things very unusual begin to happen. The stars and planets will begin to illuminate in the sky. It will appear almost as it is early dawn or late dusk. Perhaps the streetlights may come on. The darkness will be eerie. Perhaps your pets or animals will act a little unusual during this time of totality. A very unusual sight, a total solar eclipse that will occur at 313.13 13 here in Toledo. Next, the fourth contact. That is when the partial eclipse comes to an end. That fourth contact will occur at 426.57. And at that point, even our partial eclipse will be over with. 
for a few short minutes though, we will be able to experience something absolutely incredible, perhaps never seen before in your lifetime, a total solar eclipse. That will occur then when the moon covers the entire disk of the sun. What is truly dramatic and special about this, it will be the only opportunity to vis visually see the sun's corona. Truly unusual to be able to do that. Now, this is partially explained by the moon in its orbit. It is elliptical as it orbits around the sun. In addition to that, the orbit of the moon is not in a linear plane, in a flat plane. There are wobbles to that orbit, which makes a total solar eclipse extremely rare. Once again, you must be within the umbra, the shadow that is cast by the moon as it completely obscures the face of the sun. That will give you the opportunity for a few short minutes to view that total solar eclipse, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Now that shadow or the umbra will move at an astounding rate across the earth, around 1,400 miles per hour, which means totality only last a few short minutes. We will be in the path of totality across northern Ohio on April 8th, 2024. In fact, all of northern Ohio, parts of western Ohio, central and southern Indiana will be within the path of totality. Every location within the lower 48 of the United States will at least experience a partial eclipse. It may range from about a 50% eclipse down towards central and southern Florida to a 70% eclipse into parts of the southeast and eastern seaboard. The path of totality, though, makes all the difference when you're trying to view a total solar eclipse. Now, areas across the northern plains will be closer to a half eclipse and into the Pacific Northwest, it will be a very minuscule partial eclipse. There will be tens of millions of Americans that will be within the path of totality on April 8th, 2024. So what will it give you a chance to view? How about this? A unique opportunity to visually see the sun's corona. This will only occur during totality when that sun is 100% eclipsed. Now, what is the sun's corona? It is an outer atmosphere of the sun itself. It is 10 million times less dense than the sun itself. It is also incredibly hot, a chance that you could view coronal loops, streamers, and plumes. Those plumes incredibly hot. In fact, hundreds of times hotter than the surface of the sun itself. And it is only for a sh few short minutes that during totality, you are able to remove your solar glasses and look up at the total solar eclipse and view in totality the sun's corona. We will be talking much more about this rare opportunity and specific science behind the sun's corona coming up in future uh, in information and episodes. The corona is the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. That's what you need to know. Only able to see this with very special instrumentation or during a total solar eclipse when the sun's rays are completely blocked. It is composed mainly of plasma, which is hot ionized gases. Scientists aren't exactly sure why it is so hot, but it's incredibly hot as the outer portion of the atmosphere, the sun's atmosphere, burns away many hundreds times hotter than the surface of sun itself. The only time the corona is visible is during totality the few short minutes of totality that will exist. So it's worth a word of caution at this point. Safety is going to be a big thing in viewing our total solar eclipse. Of course, we never want you to look directly at the sun without proper protective eyewear. And we'll have more information on that, what you need to know and what you need to have to be prepared for the total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. Let's talk times. When you will be able to actually see that total solar eclipse, we will be in the path of totality here in the city of Toledo. Totality will start at 31218. That max eclipse will be 313313 and totality will end at 31409. We can get this information down to the second. The total time in totality in Toledo will be one minute and 51 seconds. Rossford, you will also be in totality just after 312. The max eclipse will occur at 31309 and it will end at 31411 for a time of two minutes and four seconds in totality. Oregon to Maumee, just over two minutes in totality and Perrysburg also will be in totality. That will begin at 31156. The max totality will be at 313.02 
and it will end at 314.08 for a time and totality of 2 minutes and 13 seconds. Bowling Green will be a little bit closer to that max totality. 311.22 is when totality will start. It will end at 314.21 for 2 minutes and 59 seconds in totality if you are in Bowling Green. Now, the total solar eclipse capital of Northwest Ohio, that is going to be Forest, Ohio, with the longest time in totality of 3 minutes and 56 seconds. Now, totality will start at 310.40. Its totality will end at 314.36 for just under 4 minutes in totality. Finley to Ottawa also are going to experience an incredible amount of time in totality. Two minutes and 44 seconds of totality in Finley. Ottawa, three minutes and 27 seconds. Let's talk White House, Napoleon and Defiance. All these locations also will be within totality, but just less than two minutes in totality. A minute and 55 seconds if you're in White House, Napoleon, one minute and 42 seconds. And in Defiance, your totality will begin at 310. 59 totality will end at 312 39 for one minute and 40 seconds in totality. Upper Sandusky also going to be very close up there with the max time in totality. Three minutes and 55 seconds with totality ending at 314 56. Norwalk to three minutes and 54 seconds. Your totality will end at 316 10. If you're in Tiffin, your totality will begin at 311 24. Your max eclipse will be at 313 20 and your totality will end at 315 17 for three minutes and 52 seconds in totality. For Sandusky, totality will begin at 312 21. You'll have a total time of totality of three minutes and 45 seconds. Fremont, two, three minutes and 38 seconds and Port Clinton, three minutes and 30 seconds of totality on April 8th, 2024. Truly going to be an amazing spectacle, something to be seen across Northern Ohio. A little bit more on what to expect during the total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. Here again is our line or path of totalities. It comes off the Pacific Ocean over Mexico. This is going to be the first contact with North America. That max eclipse is actually expected to occur in the Durango state of Mexico. How about this? Four minutes and 28 seconds of totality. Now, many expect this actually could be one of the best places in the world to view the total solar eclipse, partially due to the fact that not only is it a long amount of totality, but it is desert land, likely to be the driest and the area of least cloud cover across uh, the path of totality. This area averages about 20% cloud cover even in early April. We all know what clouds and skies can look like in April in Northwest Ohio. Next up, we're going to be moving into Texas. The path of totality will go through Austin, Waco and Dallas. Much of Texas will be in the focal point, including some very large cities like Dallas, Texas. Moving northward, we're expecting that path of totality is going to be moving across the state of Arkansas, the southeast portion of Missouri and into southern Illinois. Very interesting little statistic that Carbondale, Illinois, last experienced a total eclipse on August 21st, 2017. And once again, we'll find themselves in the direct path of totality on April 8th, 2024. A very narrow area in the United States where two paths of totality have crossed in less than a decade. Now, there's an estimated 32 million Americans that live within the path of totality. Many, many more Americans, perhaps tens of millions of Americans that will be flocking to the path of totality to have their chance to view that total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024. That path of totality, look at this. It does come into Northwest Ohio. The max eclipse will begin in Ohio shortly after 3.10 p.m. on April 8th, 2024. It comes through and uh, encompasses nearly all of Northwest Ohio, but you may notice this, that extreme northern extent of the path of totality barely includes the Toledo Metro. It does not include Williams, most of Fulton County or most of Southern Michigan. You will be just outside the path of totality. Many locations will be right along that center line of totality, including parts of Wyandotte County into Seneca County and over toward Erie and Huron County.
in that direct line of totality. The totality will extend and will move through the Great Lakes region, eventually into New England and Canada, where that max eclipse through the afternoon on April 8th, 2024, will eventually move up into Canada and off into the Atlantic Ocean. We are very excited about the total solar eclipse. It will be happening on April 8th, 2024. Once again, we aim to be a resource to educate and inform and prepare you on what to expect with the upcoming total solar eclipse.